Hello, this is Emma Conley Barklam of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to this yoga quickie for a stiff neck and shoulders. So this class is aimed at anybody who has pains, aches in these areas. Maybe you've been working or you've been driving a lot. Uh, this class is for you. Know that the class will take place from this seated position all the way through. So it's fine to do this from a chair if you prefer to and you don't need any equipment. So I hope you enjoy the class and find it useful. Enjoy your practice and namaste. So come into Sukhasana or easy comfortable seated position, hands to Anjali Mudra and setting an intention for your practice today. There is a saying in yoga that blessed are the flexible as they are never bent out of shape seems fitting for this particular class. So begin with some mobilization, seated Majariyasana. So inhaling, carry the heart forward, exhale, draw the abdomen in as you round the back. And continuing like this, inhaling to come forward, exhaling to round. So using Uddiyana Bandha on the exhale, drawing the abdomen into the spine, chin towards the chest and just feel a full mobilization of the spine. So now we move into a Sufi grind. So beginning to circle, finding the breath. So you might inhale to circle forward, exhale to circle back, changing direction there, keeping the shoulders relaxed and hands lightly placed on the knees. And then coming back to the upright from here, inhale, lift the shoulders up, exhale to roll back, Endeavor to keep the head still, gaze soft into Ajna Chakra, the eyebrow space. Let this be all about the shoulders and then inhale, stretch the hands up, exhale, let go on the Rachaka, inhale to stretch, active Rachaka, exhale. So just dropping the shoulders and the elbows away from the ears, bringing the hands back to the knees for a moment. Spread out the fingers and place them on the collarbones. Inhale to lengthen, open the throat, Vishuddhi Chakra. And we begin to nod the head, exhale, and then roll it all the way up on the inhale to the right side, exhaling to roll down the left. Inhaling to roll up, exhaling to roll down. Keep the back of the neck long as we change direction now and just feel you're maintaining that low doses curve at the back of the neck. There shouldn't be anything unpleasant in the back of the neck. If you feel any pain, you might want to take this to a semicircle as opposed to a full circle. Making sure you do an equal amount of circles to each side. So we're looking at about four rounds. Staying with the breath, inhaling to roll up exhaling to circle down. Equal balance between the throat and the back of the neck. And then coming back to center on the inhale and exhale there. So from here, I'm just easing out the rhomboids quite a strange action. You can see I'm smiling on this one. This one always makes me laugh a bit. So we're just taking the hands forward, alternating sides, and this just loosens up the shoulder blades. Inhale, take the arms wide. Exhale, give yourself a hug and drop the chin towards the chest. Keep that breath moving. Seeing where you can let go of any stiff areas in this practice. Inhale, open up, spread the fingers. Exhale, opposite arm on top. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, chin to chest. So we're teasing open the upper back. Inhale, take the arms wide. Exhale, Garudasana arms across right over left. You might do a single bind at the elbows or a double bind at the wrists. Lift the elbows as you draw the shoulders down. We take this into side to side action. So inhaling to one side, exhaling to the other. Keeping a steady focus 
one-pointed focus is the sixth limb of yoga, dharana. So you might just take it and hold to one side there. Keep the back of the neck long. Unravel the arms. Inhale to open out. Exhale, left over right arm. Single or double bind. Draw the shoulders down as you lift the elbows. Inhale, exhale. And begin to move from side to side. Keeping the eagle gaze. Nice and steady. And again, you might rotate the head to your left side. Exhale. I'm drawing the chin in a little. Just working into the tendons of the neck. Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale. Inhale. Scoop the arms all the way up and exhale to Anjali Mudra. Take a moment to reconnect with your intention here. And then take the arms back down, inhale, exhale, rotate the head to your left side, drop the chin, extend the right arm out and peel the fingers back. And you should feel a big stretch all the way down the neck, maybe all the way down the arm. You can play around with the hand position, so maybe try a loose yogic fist and see how that feels, Just increasing that neural activity. You can introduce a bit of extra weight with the left hand on top of the head. But don't press down and then rotate the chin towards the armpit. So we're just getting to specific tendons in this stretch. Keep drawing the right shoulder down. Then inhale, slowly glide the head, the chin away from the torso. Make sure you're not pressing down on the head as you do this. Keep breathing. Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale, release the hand. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, rotate back to center. And then to the right side. Lift the hand as if you were saying halt. And then exhale, drop the chin back down towards the left shoulder. Again, if this feels too much, know you can bend the arm to lessen the neural activity. Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale. You might just do a few shoulder round rolls there just to ease out as we now change sides. So moving to the right side, taking the left arm out, peel those fingers back. See how the land lies on this side. Again, you should feel a lot going on down the neck and down the arm. Again, you might bring the hand into a yogic fist. See how that feels. No, you can always bend the arm. That's the modification. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, introduce the hand to the back of the head. No pressing. And then inhale, draw the chin in towards your right armpit. Exhale, just hold in that stretch. Encouraging the left shoulder down as you sit nice and tall. Inhale as you glide the chin away from the body. So these are all subtle moves. Exhale as you arrive. So we work into the intricacy of the neck. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, release the hand. Inhale to lift. Exhale, take the head all the way over to the left side. Halt with the left hand. Exhale, bring the head back to the right side, dropping the chin towards the shoulder. Again, you have that bent arm option. You can experiment with taking the fingers to downward facing, upward facing. See where you need to be. It will be different for everybody. Inhale to lift up. Exhale and just open the palms. And again, just find some sukham, some comfort through the shoulders as you roll them back. From here, bring your left finger to your chin and just gently dip it. And from here, we're moving the head from ear to ear. So exhaling to one side, inhale to center, exhaling to the other, keeping that chin drawn in as firmly as you can. So really beginning to work into the trapezius, the upper back, the neck, coming back to center on the inhale, exhale. So now imagine you're drawing a figure of eight laying on its side with the tip of the nose. You might want to close the eyes so you can really get into that and you can begin to make the action 
much bigger, that feels okay. So exaggerating the move and then take an inhale, exhale, change in direction, staying with that figure of eight action laying on its side and then beginning to bring the movement in towards a small figure of eight until you arrive back in center. Take a few breaths here and inhale, exhale, drop the chin towards the chest as we come towards the end of this practice. Inhale to lift, exhale, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. So I hope that helped you and exhale, namaste. If you enjoy yoga outdoors, you might want to visit my retreats page on my website, www.mliveyoga.com. So I hope to see you soon and thank you for practicing with me.